What are you doing here? Looking for something? Or someone? Well, not that I care, either way. You won't live long if you poke your nose where it doesn't belong. Just like that scholar. Oh, so you're the one. Hmm. I see what's going on here now. If you're looking for something, then I've got no clue what you want, and I don't care. But if you're looking for someone, then go to Lilipa. If you're quick enough, someone just might be waiting for you in the tunnels. You want to know who? You'll just have to find that out for yourself. Because I don't care. Thank you for coming. I know what you're here for. Follow me. I was going to contact you, but he stopped me because he thought it was too dangerous. Look who's here, Rojo. Ah, I'm so glad to see you again. Oh, please take it easy. You haven't completely healed yet. Ow. Still, I'm glad that you're all right. I thought they'd be after you as well. I'm certain now. Arx is hiding something on Nevarius. They must have thought I was probing into that and tried to kill me. That's why I'm here. I'm embarrassed to admit that I have no memory of being saved. A little while ago, an Arx operative came carrying Rogio, who was severely hurt. That small girl only told me to hide him, and then left. I don't know what happened, but it all seems very dangerous. However, whatever they're hiding must be important enough that they'd kill to keep it a secret. If whoever's behind this didn't want anyone learning what's in the tundra, they should have made the area off limits. But Ark's Ops are free to come and go there as they please. So, what did I do that got their attention? I think the problem they had with me was the data I got from the Geological Survey. I detected F-Factor deep within the tundra, rather than on the surface. Which means that the fall spawn have been here on Nevarius for a long time. That alone may not be especially noteworthy, but there's more. I think the fall spawn may have actually created the entire tundra area. I have no idea how exactly that could have happened. 
But something related to this data touches on something that's off limits to ARC's ops. And that's why they targeted me. Or so I think. Does this mean there's a fall spawn large enough to create something like the tundra? I feel like there was, but... I'm sorry, I can't seem to remember. I I'll keep looking into it. to investigate? From that scholar? What an idiot. He must be gifted with an extreme level of obstinance to keep this up after what he went through. You're pretty naive yourself to accept a request like that. Not that I care or anything. I'm sure you know, but this place isn't normal. It's an anomaly. I don't know the cause, though. All I know is that the photons here are strange. According to that reckless idiot, at least. Let me reiterate. I don't know what's going on here. If you want details, go find that self-proclaimed guardian who went rushing off. Hmm? To where? Don't ask me. Now then, I'm gonna head farther in, farther in... Ugh, I think I've been this way before. You think I'm lost? <laughs> As if, I'd never get lost. to talk her head off. That's not true at all. I'm being very careful to identify people with tons of juicy info. And now we've got you in our clutches. So sorry for how forceful she is. She's thoughtless, I know. Please just go along with it until you get fed up. So, do you know the trio of heroes? They're the tip of the top, veritable symbols of heroism. In short, they're the three most famous members of the Council of Six. I'm pretty sure they're called Regius, Kasra, and... Um, the last one is... Clarus Craze. heroes are all, like, symbolic, so their names get passed down from one to the next, like the second or the third. A 
although Regius is still the first of his name. The current Kostra is the second, and Clara's craze is the third. Not much history there yet. So if you keep up the good work and make a name for yourself, then your name might be passed down to others in the future too. <sighs> Having your name passed down would be so cool. I wonder if my name will... Not in a million years. <laughs> Hello. Are you staying vigilant as well? This area is presently designated as an Ark's Danger Zone. Carry out your duty with caution. But, if you happen to spot the rampaging dragon Hadrid, notify me immediately and eradicate him. Given the level of false spawn infestation here, he might reveal himself. He always did prioritize destroying false spawn above all else. So, there's a chance. Regardless, he's a traitor now, so what he's really up to is anyone's guess. Now then, if you'll excuse me, I've got a traitor to hunt. Visitor, I'm afraid I'm in no position to roll out the red carpet for you, but I appreciate the visit. Hmm. Ah, you're the Arcs from the other day. Quite the busy bee you are. This area works a bit differently from other areas. If you have no business here, I recommend you depart swiftly. If you do have reason to stay, then make haste and complete your task. Having more eyes here would be a nuisance. Hmm. You know, I've been wondering. Why does your face seem so familiar to me? I beg your pardon. I must have been imagining things. Hmm, you are seething. You could achieve far loftier feats if you would only temper yourself and avoid losing your composure. Do not rush at your problems headlong, young Nox. If you fail to see the forest for the trees, it will have lasting repercussions for you ere long. Oh dear, as I grow older, I grow more prone to lectures. Just consider this a word of friendly advice from your elder. Until next time, my young compatriot. Oh, and one last word of advice. Look out for the small, obnoxious one. You there! Bonehead! Yeah! 
you, Bonehead! The only Bonehead around for light years! Hello! Quit spacing out! You belong to Arcs, Bonehead. If you do, identify yourself. If you don't, I'll blast you to bits! Ah, oh, so you are part of Arcs. What? Me? You seriously don't know who I am, Bonehead? Sheesh! How stupid can you be? My name's Clarice Craze. I'm number five of the six. Come on, Bonehead. This is the part where you prostrate yourself before me. I just said I'm part of the Council of Six. Hmm. I guess I'm so amazing you just can't grasp the magnitude of my greatness. Whatever, I'll graciously forgive your ignorance. Anyway, what are you doing here, Bonehead? This place is designated as a dangerous area. It's no place to be wandering around. A request? You got a request to be here, Bonehead? Huh. I guess that's fine, but don't go poking your nose in further than you have to. My power's meant for defeating Fallspawn, so I'd rather not have to use it on a person. Never forget that, Bonehead. Sheesh! Where'd that guy go, anyway? Um... Wait... I think I've been this way before. Hmm. Oh, are you an Ox operative? Congratulations on making it this far in. In spite of myself, I happen to be a rather high-ranking Ox member. So let me ask you a quick question. What did you come here to do? So, you're investigating, hmm? I see. That's impressive for both you and that scholar. Now, the universe is full of nice little white lies. Lies that are in everyone's best interest. truth isn't always the correct course of action. In fact, it's often most prudent to keep your mouth shut. Well, it's magnificent that you've noticed something is amiss. Much still eludes you. And I don't want you spreading any false rumors. So allow me to enlighten you with one truth. These are the remains of a great battle that took place 40 years ago. Yes, it's exactly as you think. These aren't archaeological ruins, but the remnants of a battlefield. The wreckage of a climactic conflict that became a turning point for Ox. It 
It's your job now to think about why Ox would lie about this. We don't lie simply for sport, yet I have no duty to remain silent. There is a reason for everything. There you are! Maria, you moron! Don't leave me behind like that! What kind of greeting is that, dummy disciple? It's your fault for not keeping up. You're still green. Hmm. You really think so? Uh, you're the greenest of greenhorns. As of today, you've graduated from dummy disciple to amateurish apprentice. <laughs> Shut up, moron Maria! Well, now that Sarah's caught up to me, our little chat must draw to a close. We still have work to do, and there's nothing here for you to investigate. Go on now, shoot! Ox may have lied, but what I told you was the truth. Think hard on that. Oh, hey. You came to investigate too, huh? Perfect. Want to come with us? I knew you'd agree. I feel safer when you're around. Hey, Zeno! What about me? Yeah, yeah. You too, Echo. You're real reliable. Don't you think you're being pretty rude to me recently? I'm trying to help you become more independent. Don't you get bored being attached to me at the hip? No, I'd never get bored of you. Huh? I didn't quite catch that. I said you're a bore, you fool! Come on, let's leave this idiot behind and go! Sheesh, what was that? Oh, well, I guess if she's raring to go, it's all good. Anyway, be careful. Something's not right here.
Distraction. Completed. strange for an earthquake. It's more like something's moving underground. What's moving? Zeno? I think he's saying it's dangerous here. Oh, I, I didn't see you there. Ah, sorry. I wasn't trying to spook you. Don't be frightened. I'm an Arx operative, just like you. You gotta be kidding me. If you call yourself a regular Arx operative, what does that make the rest of us? Well, Kasra, number three of the Council of Six. The Council of Six? Like, the biggest big shots in Arx? If you know who I am, that makes things simpler. As a member of the Council of Six, I recommend that you flee post-haste. This is a warning in good faith, not a threat. Yet, while advancing alone would be the correct choice of action for one of the Six, in my view, I'm sure something must have brought us together. Would you care to join me? Are you sure about this? We might just be dead weight to a member of the Six. <laughs> you give me too much credit. I'm an intelligence specialist. Combat is less my forte. I'm not even sure I can do this alone. So don't concern yourself with my station. Just treat me as a fellow Arx operative. I'll share what I know along the way, if it's agreeable to you. gonna have time to stand around and chat so sure guess we're doing this then thank you I appreciate it I look forward to working with you all
Congratulations. Emergency code distraction. Seriously, who opened the floodgates? Hey, Kasra, what the hell's going on here? My knowledge is based only on hearsay. But do you know what happened here on Nevarius 40 years ago? You've been doing your homework, I see. That's right, there was a showdown with Dark Falls. Regius the first. Claris Craze the First and Khazra the First squared off against Dark Falls on this very planet 40 years ago. Dark Falls. Wait a minute, how does that work? I thought Arcs only ventured to this planet just recently. Untrue, I'm afraid. Really? You mean Arx has been lying to us? Yes, they have been. They keep attention diverted from the planet by claiming that it's a safe place, free of false spawn influence. Ordinary echelons of arcs find no value in it, and tend to avoid visiting it. I don't get it. What's the point of it all? What are you hiding here? The lie that perpetuates arcs is hidden here. The lie that Dark Falls can be destroyed, a fleeting dream that, and a source of great motivation for arcs. Thus do we preserve it. Look who's here. <laughs> and you brought the peanut gallery with you. <laughs> <laughs> your whiny mouth before I shut it for you. You done yet, Cena? It won't be much longer, sir. That's... the Clarissa. How? It was said to be lost. And ownership has already been transferred? That doesn't make... Ah, oh, wait. It all makes sense now. The seal coming apart, and if the seal is broken, we're all done for. You have to keep her and the Clarissa apart. I'm not letting that happen. See? Things are about to get real fun. You feel it, don't you? The evil in the air. Sharp as 
was a knife. Like it could slice you open. Exciting, isn't it? Get him out! Have you gone mad? Shut your trap, Zeno! I didn't go anywhere. I've always been mad. Lunatic, you won't be able to take all four of us on. <laughs> hey, Cena, you finished yet? It's going to take just a bit longer. Oh, is that so? Say, Cena. Yes. Master, get him hold. You'd do anything for me, wouldn't you? Of course, sir. Well, now, happy to hear it. Now then, if you don't mind, die for me. Ah. Get him hold, you monster! Now, hold on there, Zeno. What are you so worked up for? How could you do that? You kill your own... Master... Get him hold. Was I... of use to you, sir? You sure were, Zeno. With this, the preparations are complete. You don't mean... This is how you plan to do it? Do, do what? This violent throw of photons. He's going to resurrect Dark Balls. Precisely. Now come forth, Dark Balls. I heard you're the strongest being in the universe. Show me your power. You used it to take everything from me. And now I want to see it with my own eyes! And then I'm going to destroy you! Slaughter you! Rip you to shreds! Nonsense! Get him, hold! Go! You mustn't! Any closer and you'll get snatched up too! Snatched up? You knew about this, Kasura? Allow me to conclude my tale from before. Forty years ago, Arx managed to beat Dark Falls back, but never actually defeated it. All we could do was seal it away. We lied and said the enemy had been beaten. But all we did was keep it sealed away on this remote planet. We lied so that Ox operatives would believe that Dark Falls could be killed. Why are you saying that? Uh, that means the monument was... Dark Falls was sealed away. And that seal was supposed to keep for the rest of time. Now it's broken. Damn it! Damn it all the hell! What's going on? You weren't supposed to hop inside of me! Dark Falls shares the same essential properties as the False Barn. In short, 
It's able to corrupt other organisms and assume their shape. Gather! Damn it all! Zeta! Zeta! aren't working and he's still incomplete it's taking all we have to stop him from regaining his true form but there's no running now if we don't stop him before he gets to full power he will become far more deadly than we can imagine <clears throat> hey take echo and the girl and get out of here what, what are you saying I i'm staying to fight with you I'm saying that you look afraid and heartbroken, and in that state, you'll just get in my way. Please, I'll buy you guys some time, but make sure to get the two of them out of here. I'll be here with you, Zeno. Kastra. I might not look it, but I'm one of the Council of Six, too. If I help you, we can buy them time, and maybe even get out alive. <laughs> But... Zeno! Zeno! Quiet and listen to me, Echo. This is an order. Take the injured and get out of here. <laughs> Sorry. You'll have to let me hog the glory just this once. It's times like these where us senior operatives have to go all out. Wouldn't be fun otherwise. Get out of this alive. I'll make you regret it if you don't. All right, already. Get going. You're awfully reasonable for an evil entity.
pretend now with the compliments. Why, thank you. For now, let's see how long we can stall him. Right beside you. Zeno! <laughs> 